Hey loves, how you guys doing and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my Valentine's Day inspired look. I hope you guys enjoy it and if you like to see this look then please keep on watching. First thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to prime my eyes with the LA Girl Pro Primer Vase Nude. I'm going to place that all over the lid and then pat that down with a flat synthetic brush and my fingers. Next, I'm going into the Morphe 350 palette and I'm going with this flat 239 light brush. I'm going to be applying the orange shadow in the crease and that's going to be our transition color. Next, we're going with that orangish brown shade next to it and we're going with this fluffy blending brush. We're going to apply that right under that orange shade to kind of give like dimension to the look. And then next we're going with a darkish brown and I'm going with a Luxie brush. I'm going to list the brushes on the video and we're going to use that right under that orangish brown we had before. And then we're going to this deep brown shade. I'm using another Luxie brush and it's a tapered blending brush. We're going to apply that in the outer V area and it's going to give very much dimension to the look. Next, we're going with that same Luxie brush that we used to apply the other darker brown. We're going to apply that to blend out the shade and we're using Max Pigment in rows with a flat synthetic brush and I actually sprayed the pigment to make it more vibrant on the lid. And then we're going into the Morphe Plum Palette. We're going into that matte black shade. We're going to put that in the outer V to give us a nice crypt look. And then I'm going back with the Luxie Tapered Blending Brush and we're going to blend out the harsh lines. And then I'm going back into the Morphe 350 Palette. We're going into that same orange shade to kind of replace what we lost when we were blending. And then we're going into Micah Beauty's Gel Liner in Black. We're using the Bedellum Tools Angled Brush and we're going to give ourselves a nice extended wing liner. And then I'm going into this cosmetic grade glitter I got on eBay. I'm applying it. It's a really nice pink glitter. Very, very fantastic for Valentine's Day. And I'm using the e.l.f. glitter glue for this application. And then we're going into Shella's Brow Gel. We're going to be fixing those brows for our eyebrow routine. And then we're going into Anastasia's Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony. And I'm going to use that to sculpt my brows out. And then we're going to Essence Make Me Brow. It's a nice like brow builder. It has fibers in there, so it's going to make me look like I have fuller brows. And then here's how my brows look after they are cleaned. And then we're going back into the Morphe 3 Viral Palette. We're going into that orangish satin shade. We're going to apply that as a brow bone highlight. And then we're applying mascara. This is the CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara. And then I'm applying some Makeup Forever Lashes in C720. And these lashes are really, really flirty and very good for Valentine's. And then we're going to apply the Believe Aqua Balm all over the face to prep my skin for my foundation layout. And then we're applying two Joy Primer. One is called the anti agent and one is a mattifying primer. And we're just going to use that to kind of prep my face for my foundation step. And then I'm going into the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in the Orange Corrector. We're going to correct all those dark circles, but before that, I'm applying the Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer to close out those pores because we want that foundation to lay really well. And then I'm going into the Luxie Beauty Pro Position Foundation Brush. We're going to use that to blend out the orange corrector on our face. And then I'm going into my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Toast and that's similar to my skin tone so I just want to remove some of that oranginess. And then we're going with the Luxie Beauty Pro Position. I think this is a sculptor or like a flat. I'm going to list all the numbers on the screen. 
And then I'm going with Makeup Forever's foundation in Y505. And I'm gonna apply that and blend it out with the same Luxie brush that I had before. And now we're going into Ruby Cosmetics Mineral Concealer. This is called Rich Beige. I'm applying that to my highlight areas. And then I'm going to take that same Luxie Beauty brush and I'm going to blend everything out seamlessly. And then we're going with Black Ops Cosmetics Contouring Stick. Going in with another Luxie Beauty brush. This is the Pro Sculpting Brush. We're going to use that to fix that contour and make it pop as usual. And then we're going to take the Luxie round blender to blend everything evenly and I'm applying that rich beige concealer from Ruby Kisses under my contour to kind of make that contour poke out a little bit more and we're also blending that out with the Luxie Beauty brush. I've already set my face behind camera with the Sasha's Buttercup concealer. Now we have to go to the bottom lash line and I'm using the Urban Decay Zero Liner, the 24 hour liner and I'm using that in my inner rim area. And then we're going back with the Morphe Plum Palette. We're going with that matte black shade. We're gonna set that liner really well. And then we're going back into the 350 palette and we're going to grab that dark brown shade to smudge out the black liner. And then we're going to an even orangish brown shade and that's gonna go right next to that dark brown. It's gonna give a nice smoky effect to it. And then from the inner corners, we're going to this light orange shade. We're going to apply that in the inner corners for brightening eyes effect. <laughs> and then we're applying the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara to the bottom lashes to give that spiky look. Now I'm going with the City Color Contour Effects Palette and I'm going to be setting that contour and making it even pop a little bit more. Now I'm going into my Ofra's Professional Makeup Palette and this is the blush palette and I'm applying that peachy shade blush to the apples of my cheeks. Now we're going to this You Do You highlighter from Ofra Cosmetics also made with Do That and we're going to apply that to the highlight points that we've highlighted. Now I'm going to use my favorite setting mist of now. This is the Pure Cosmetics Miracle Mist. We're going to set that makeup so it doesn't move anywhere. And for my lips, I'm using ColourPop's Lip Liner in Ellery, my favorite lip liner ever. We're just going to line those lips really deeply. And then we're using Too Faced Melted Chocolate Liquify Lipstick in Chocolate Cherry, my favorite liquid lipstick for now. And here's the final look guys. I hope you guys truly enjoy this look and I hope you guys have a happy Valentine's Day. If you like this look, please don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to follow me on all social media. So thank you guys again for your love and support. I'll catch you guys later in the next video. Bye!